if he was hoping for thunderous applause from American Jews, President Trump may be disappointed. His announcement on Wednesday that he will recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital went down well with those on the political right, who have urged the step for years. They will be telling him so at the White House Konica party on Thursday, they said. But other Jewish leaders said they were more worried than glad, fearing that the precipitous step would inflame tensions in the region, provoke more terrorism, put peace with the Palestinians even farther out of reach, and worsen the diplomatic isolation of both Israel and the United States. They say they wish he had held off, as previous presidents have done. Jerusalem has always been the most delicate issue in every discussion about peace, said Rabbi Rick Jacobs, president of the Union for Reform Judaism, the largest branch of American Judaism. So we're very concerned that the announcement will either delay or undermine the very, very important resuming of a serious peace process. Deborah Deli, the president of Americans for Peace Now, an affiliate of the Israeli peace group Shalom Akshav, said, Trump is causing severe damage to the prospects of Middle East peace, imperiling lives and degrading U.S. Leadership Jewish leaders are not alone in expressing alarm at MR. Trump's move leaders of other faiths decried it, including Pope Francis, Orthodox patriarchs and Protestant church leaders in Jerusalem and the United States, and Muslims around the world. The words MR Trump uttered about Jerusalem sounded sweet to many Jews, who belong to a faith that has revered the city as its holiest site for 3,000 years. But Jerusalem is also holy to Christians and to Muslims, and for centuries, attempts by any side to take exclusive control have brought trouble. Balancing their competing claims has been seen as the stickiest part of any peace effort. American Jews are debating whether Mr. Trump's decision to end decades of diplomatic ambiguity and recognize the disputed city as the Israeli capital will help or hurt Israel and the effort to make a lasting peace with the Palestinians, who also want Jerusalem for their capital. Israel, long a unifying cause among American Jews, has increasingly become a point of polarization, and Mr. Trump's move may only deepen that divide. There were Jewish leaders who celebrated the president's announcement on Wednesday as a historic step that many Jews had longed for, and that might shake things up enough to restart the stalled Middle East peace process. Nathan J. Diamond, executive director of public policy for the Union of Orthodox Jewish Congregations of America, said in an interview, this move puts pressure where it belongs, which is on the Palestinians and on Arab governments that support the Palestinians because it sends the message that you can't just sit still and refuse to be in negotiations and, oh, by the way, sponsor terrorism and think that everything is just going to remain status quo. Mr.